Hello, my grade 4 students! This is me, your teacher, Erica. And I hope that you are doing well there, staying at home. Just keep safe always, okay? So now we will talk about, as you can see here on the screen, points, lines, line segments, rays, and planes. Okay, so that's our topic for today that we will tackle today. So the, the, the topic itself is our vocabulary, okay? So again, point. Okay, read it. Uh, line. Okay, next. Line segment. Ray. Plain. All right. Can you repeat it again? Okay. I assume you already finished reading all of these words. Okay. Let's proceed. So that's our vocabulary for today that we will learn. That we will about to learn. Okay. So first is a point. A point is look it looks like this one like a dot a point like all right so um in this it drawn as this one this example point so example we have point o so it read as point o again can you read this can you read this diagram point o Okay, next. So, it's written as when you're going to write the point O. So, it's just the same in the diagram. Okay, in point O. So, just that and then letter O. Okay? So, you can see anywhere the dots. Okay? So, next. We have here a line. Everybody say line. So this is an example on on how you or I mean on what line looks like. So it looks like this. As you can see, it's a straight line. Two points. Okay, when you connect the two points, it forms a straight line. And then the line is it extends in both directions non-stop. Infinitely. Okay, non-stop. Arrowhead, which means it extends long, 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 and long, and long, longer, and longer, and longer. Okay, so this is read as line MN. Everybody read line MN. So when you write it, okay, written symbol, this is the symbol when you write line MN. Okay, so just write the letter M letter n okay if it is big letter then you should write big letter also and then make sure that you put the line symbol above these two letters okay above these two letters so this is how exactly you're going to write it in symbol okay in real life you can see the lines everywhere actually many many lines so like this the road one all right so the yellow line here, it extends both sides. It gets longer. I mean, it, it's, it extends, okay? It's very long road. All right. So this is uh, one example that you can see the line in our surroundings, okay? Next. So again, this is a line, example of a line, all right? Next. So just take note of this. Okay, another line segment. All right, so line segment, it is also a straight line. Two points, okay, and then connect them. So it forms a straight line, but it never extends on both sides. Just an end point. Again, end point, which means just there. 
Okay, it never goes this side or this side, no. So just uh, this line, okay? So in this example, we have here a diagram. A line, okay, this one and then PQ. So this read as line segment PQ. Again, can you read this again? Line segment PQ. All right, and when you write it down, okay, just write letter P. So again, if it if it shows in the diagram big letters, so you should write big letters. Big letter P, you write big letter Q, and then don't forget to write the symbol above the line segment. Okay, so unlike with the line, it has an arrow, arrow head in both sides, line segment it has no arrow head so just this one straight line okay so again this is about line segment line segment example if this one girl from one point going there okay to another point she walks towards to the other point all right so this is an example of a line segment all right clear okay next let's talk about ray okay everybody say ray all right r a y the ray okay the line has two arrow head the line segment has no arrow head on both um uh, in both sides this one, it has only one end point and one with arrowhead. So which means um, just stay there. It never extends here. But this one, since it has arrowhead, so which means it can extend, okay, longer and longer. Okay, so this diagram read as ray or S. Everybody, can you read this diagram? Ray R S. The letter, the first letter that you're going to write is where the end point is. Okay? So in this example, the end point is here. So it's in the R. So you should write first the R. And then the second letter is with the arrowhead. So R S. So the symbol, when you're going to write the, the ray, okay, uh, based on this example, the diagram, so just write R, S, and then make sure that the endpoint without the arrowhead is with the R, and then with the arrowhead is uh, over the letter S, okay? All right, so um, example of the ray that you can see in our surrounding, actually this one is like uh, a light <laughs> okay so i have here an example it's a sun all right the ray of the sun so from this point from this body of the sun the light ray or the yeah the ray of the sun goes extend infinitely in all direction actually okay all right, that's why we have light here in our environment, in our surroundings. We can have a light here on Earth, okay? Because of this ray of the sun, the light of the sun. I mean the light of the sun. So this one, it goes beyond, I mean it goes extendly, infinitely. It goes extend infinitely. Okay, so this is about... Ray. All right. Next. Hmm. The last one we have here, a plane. Everybody say plane. So it looks like a surface or a flat surface. Okay. So actually this plane, it extends both, I mean in all direction, it extends indefinitely, non-stop. Okay. It can be non-stop because it has arrow heads okay in all direction or in all sides of this plane 
So as you can see, we have here point A, point B, point C because the plane is composed with the three non-collinear points. Non-collinear meaning not on the same line, not on the straight line. So as you can see, you cannot, when you connect these three points, you cannot form straight line, right? Yep. So that's how the plane is. All right. So it's either in this diagram, this drawing, it's either you will call it or read it with only one letter. So here, plane M, plane M, or with three points, plane A, B, C. So it's either of them, uh, it's correct, all right? So it's either... Plane M or plane A, B, C. So when you write it, it's the same on how you read it exactly, no? So plane M or plane A, B, C. So just write the word plane and then letter M, only one letter. And then if you feel like to write it with the points, non-collinear points, so just write the word plane and then A, B, C. Yeah. Okay, so just take note of this. This is again a plane. Best example of a plane that you can see, especially in your classroom, a paper. All right. Okay, a paper. So this is an example of a plane. Okay. So it's just like a 2D shape. Next, you can also see example of a plane, wall, the wall. All right. Okay. Next, spelling time. Can you spell out the point? So what's the missing letters? Okay, letter O and N. Very good. So point. P-O-I-N-T. Next. What's what are the met I mean what are the missing letters? Okay, letter I and E. So it's a line. Alright, next. Okay, the missing letters are letter G and then E. Okay, so line segment. All right, next. What, what do you think is this? This word. So what's the first letter? Okay, it's letter R. Next. Y. Okay, it's Ray. All right, next. The last one. Okay, so it's letter L and letter N. All right, so it's a plane. Now you're going to know if you can remember the lesson or that we have tackled today. All right, so can you tell me what kind of figure or diagram is this? All right, it's a line segment. All right, very good. That's, That's right. right. Yes, okay, next. What do you think is this? Is it a line? Line segment? Or a ray? Okay, it's a ray. Very good. Next. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. awesome. Fantastic. How about this one? Take a look to this um, diagram or figure. So it's still a ray, all right? Only one endpoint and one arrowhead. Cool. Oh, yes, nice job. All right, next. Okay, a blank is a part of a line between two endpoints. Two endpoints. It's a line segment. Okay, very good. Awesome. awesome. Mm, fantastic. Awesome. Next. What do you call this one? Okay, how are you going to name this one? This figure? It's a line segment. X, Y. Okay, X first and then Y. All right. Cool. Yes. So I guess that's all for today. Just a, a little bit practice. And then in later time, I'm going to give you a worksheet for you to answer more about this topic today. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, guys. 
Have a nice day!